Good morning. Beautiful weather here in Pennsylvania. Really nice. I have not warmed up yet, so. Today's workout is right here. The first circuit is going to be a pull circuit where we get to work on our grip, which is a hard thing to do when you don't have heavy bars to deadlift or heavy bells to farmer carry. By keeping the bell in one hand for a while, we will get to work on our, our grip. Not always the sexiest, most glamorous strength kind of exercise, but very important if you want to be strong. It's gonna be a descending ladder of 10 reps down to two reps, counting by twos, 10, eight, six, four, two. We're gonna do four exercises, single leg deadlifts, suitcase reverse lunges, Miller rows, and one arm swings. In the second circuit, we're gonna do three sets of 10 downward dog push-ups so that we can work our shoulders, 12 goblet squats, and 15 glute bridges with a hip circle, and at the top of every one, you'll pulse your knees apart. And then the last circuit is gonna be a nine minute EMOM. We're gonna do four to five thrusters per side, five to, on the first minute, rest for the bottom of the first minute, on the second minute, five to six snatches per side, rest for the remainder of the minute, at the top of the third minute, seven to eight high pulls for, per side, and then we'll repeat that twice more for a total of nine minutes. I think my math is okay today. You will need one, maybe two kettlebells and a hip circle, and that's it. So pretty easy. If you don't have a kettlebell, you can use a dumbbell. It's hard to swing a dumbbell, but it can be done if you need it. One of the things I keep meaning to tell you in the video, I do write it down below in the description box, and I hope you are reading it because that's where the entire workout is written. Write the workout down. Take a picture of it, have it with you. It's gonna make your workout a lot easier. Circuit one is gonna be a chain. So that means you're going to complete all of the exercises in the circuit on one side, then the repeat the circuit on your other side. I'm gonna start with my right side. The first round is 10 reps, single leg deadlifts. So I'm gonna stand on my right leg, holding the bell in my right hand, aiming for just outside my pinky toe. My shoulder is packed, armpit is tight, I'm using this other arm for a little counterbalance, sending my heel back, sitting back, keeping my back leg also nice and tense. The more tension in your body, the easier it will be to balance. Make sure you feel this in your butt. Without letting go, of the bell, you're gonna do a suitcase reverse lunge. Same leg stays forward, right leg, working the right leg. Two, three, six, I can feel it. So this is gonna be the hardest circuit because it's got the most reps, not letting go of the bell. 10 rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, woo, eight, nine. Last one. And then finally, whew, I'm gonna do 10 one-arm swings. Now, use your best judgment. Ideally, you're not gonna let go of the bell, but if you have to let go of it or else you're gonna hurl it through a window, brain's over brawn, right? So, packed, inhale, one, two, three, like doing a 
100 yard Stooping's walk. So now you can let go of the bell. You'll pick it up in your left hand, repeat the sequence on the other side. The round after this will be eight reps, then six, then four, then two. So it'll get easier as you go on. That's my gift to you today. Circuit two is three rounds. We're gonna start with 10 down dog push-ups. In the down dog position, you're gonna tuck your head, look between your heels, take, let's try it like this because otherwise my shirt's coming off. And I'm gonna take my glasses off too. I'm gonna lead with the top of my head. My hands are wider than shoulders. If this hurts, modify it. Maybe walk your hands out a little bit or widen them. Find a position that doesn't hurt your shoulder joints. And that's how you work out your shoulders with zero weight. Do a clean clean. Last exercise in this circuit is 15 glute bridges with a top abduction pulse. So right around your legs, above the knees, lay on your back, pressing my shoulders down, one at the top pulse, two, Constant tension on the band. Straight line at the top. If you are finding that you feel your butt, but it's not crazy feeling and you want crazy feeling, do more pulses at the top. So the longer you stay with tension on that band, the more you'll feel the burn. For my second round, I would do three pulses for each rep. And then maybe on the third round, I would do five pulses for each rep. For the last circuit, the nine minute EMOM, you will need your handy dandy timer app. I use the Gym Flex timer. I have an EMOM timer, so that means it will alert me at the end of every minute. And I'm gonna set it for nine intervals. Press okay, and then I'm gonna do four to five thrusters. Two, three, four. Swing to switch. Five or six snatches per side. Swing to switch. Soft elbow. Open the hand at the top. Squeezing that butt at the top. Also the handle. Five, six, seven, seven to eight. Swing to switch. One, two, three, four, five, 
I love how I can feel the momentum of the bell go deep into my palm. We'll repeat that sequence for the last six minutes. I love it when you come by and work out with me. Every day that I work out is another day that doesn't dissolve into quarantine obscurity. I swear it's true. If you're digging my content, press the like, subscribe, share with your mother, stay safe, stay strong, and stay home. <laughs>